I'll, uh, this is Chetan from Kavrich AWS Training Center. So in this assignment, uh, what we want to do is uh, we want to set up a cross AWS account access. Uh, so we will have two AWS accounts here, account A and account B. And we need to have IAM users in account B should be able to access uh, account A. So for this, we need two AWS account as shown and the process is like in account A, we will create IAM role. While we create IAM role, we will tell this role is for account B. And then we will attach some IAM permissions in this IAM role. The permission would be the one that you want to grant access to the users in account B. So for example, if uh, account A is in production account and you just want to give access, read only access probably, to see the EC2 instance runnings. So you should attach EC2 read only permissions for this IAM role in account A. And once you do that, uh, you would also have to grant a user in account B permissions to assume the role in account A. That we will do by attaching right IAM policy to the users in account B. Once uh, this is set, uh, we will log into account B using I am user of account B and through console we will switch role and then we'll switch role to this role in account A and that should take I am users to access the resources in account A. Okay, so that is what uh, is written here as well. So let's do this exercise. So first thing you need here is two AWS accounts and account IDs. So I already have my two AWS accounts. Uh, this is my first AWS account with the name Chetan AWS. And this is my dashboard. Similarly, I have another AWS account, which is Kvrich. And I open this in two different browsers, Chrome and IE, so that I can access both the accounts at the same time. So first thing you need to get is account IDs. How can you get that? You just go here, go to the support and open the support center. It will open this particular UI and there you can see this account ID. Now this is an account ID for account B. So I'll just store it somewhere. Say account B. And similarly, I want to have it for account A. So I'll just go and here I'll go to support center. I already opened that and this is my account A. So I'll just store this as well. Okay, so now the first thing is let's go to account A and create an IAM role. So this is account B, this is account A. I will go to IAM service and I will create a role. So I'll create a role now this time we want to create a role for another AWS account. So make sure you use choose right uh, box here. That is another AWS account. And here you need to give an account ID of account B that I had already stored. So this is an account ID for B. I'll just put it here. I don't want to use other things. This is for extra security. Uh, as of now we are good. Next permissions. So now these are the permissions which user in account B will gain, right? So we only want to give say EC2 read only access for this particular role or we may S3 read as well. So we will just attach whatever policies we want to give. Consider it like a production environment where you don't want to give everybody all the accesses. Tags, you can say any tags like name, role for account B. And here you will say role for B, for example, role for account B. <clears throat> yes, create a role. Okay, this role has been created. You just verify by going to this role. And if you see the trust relationship, this role is trusting this particular AWS account, which is account B. So on account A side, we are done. We just require this much. A few things you will require uh, from account A while setting up account B is the role ARN. 
so you need to copy this and you just store it somewhere so role arn is this okay now next thing is let's go to account b now so this is my account b this is my account number i go to my aws management console i go to i am users Now either you can create a new IAM user or uh, you can attach some policies to existing IAM user. So in my case, I already have a user uh, with the name developer and to this user, I want to give access to account A. Now these users are in account B, which only has access to EC2 read only in account B. I want this user to have access to account A as well, right? So for this we need to add permissions to this user so we'll add a permission uh, or we can even do the inline permissions as well so we'll add an inline policy in the json format and the policy i have already written here i just choose that okay i'll put this i am policy and here I need to put an role ARN which we had stored for account A. So this is my role ARN. Right. So what this policy does is it allows uh, users in account B to assume the role in account A. That is what we are doing. If you are an admin user in account B then by default that user can assume the role because all the IAM permissions are given. But if they are the users who do not have power permissions or an admin permissions, you would have to explicitly do this step. Okay, I review the policy. I give it name, assume role for account A. And I create a policy. So now if you see developer user, it has two policies, one which is for account B and this one allows him to switch the role to account A. If everything is done, we should be able to now log in with developer user and see if he, he can switch the role to account A. So I'm just logging out with uh, for my existing admin account for account B and this time I will log in with a developer user. Okay, so I'll just say developer and I will say my password which I had already created this user. Okay, this user has been created. If you see this user has only access to EC2 read permission in account B itself. That's your own account. So this user should not be able to access any IAM stuff and all. All the accesses are denied. But this user has EC2 read access. So this user can see all EC2 instances and all. But what we want to do is we want to access the services in account A, not account B. So for how we can do this? We can do switch role here. Do a switch role. While switching role, it will ask you for which account you want to switch the role. So just click switch role. And here you need to give account A ID. So just give this account A ID and the name of the role so name of the role is this you can also set some colors so that you can identify this is a different account so i'll say this color i say switch role okay so now in the ui you can see this user is actually whatever ui you are seeing is from account a not from account b right so all running ec2 instances they are from account a and you can also verify that this user does not have probably permissions for any other service, for example, an Athena service in A. We have only granted EC2 read permissions and S3 read permissions. So if you try to say run query, it is disabled, right? Or you can go to any other service, for example. We have also given S3 read permissions as well. Say, so let's go to IAM service. Now this user does not have any other permissions. When you do a switch role, you leave apart all your existing 
uh, permissions for your existing account and you just only operate in a new account with the new permissions which are attached to the role right so if you see all this you see from the account a so that was the exercise uh, users in account b are now able to access services in account a once you are done you can switch back to your developer role from the account b so that you get to your home this is an iam permission which are not even there in account b as well so that was the exercise if you could do this so far you are good you are done with this exercise thank you for watching